shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in like five minutes. Yes, I know. You don't have to have a panic attack. Look, I, I understand your condition, but I, I was a little freaked out too. Well, I was gonna be late anyway. I just don't understand why you don't wanna have a kid. Because our lives would be completely ruined. Uh Okay, maybe not ruined, but things wouldn't be the same, and I'm happy with the way things have been. <sighs> okay. Yeah, there's a key near the door. It's... No, not under the mat. That would be fucking stupid. Things haven't exactly been perfect! And I think having a kid would bring us closer. Look, you can rationalize it all you want, but I'm never having kids. I decided that a long time ago. You're so stubborn! I don't know why you can't just drop it and be happy. I love you. You love me. Why isn't that enough for you? I love you more than anything, but I just don't understand why you don't want to have a kid and start a family. Oh, I don't want kids. Okay. No! Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm gonna have to call you back.
watching them. There's this article about this thing a scientist made for the military in the 1940s. Apparently, it allows you to undo one action that you've done in your past, and it will bring you back to that day of choice. That's crazy. That will basically change your whole course of life. But they never got to see if it worked because there was an accidental fire in the lab that was be being performed in. Holy shit! The lab's at the vacant building down the street! And they say they haven't seen the object since then, so they still believe it's in that lab! I have to text my brother Ryan and tell him about this. He loves this kind of stuff. Don't tell me you believe that. People make up stories like that all the time. Or you know I could have written that article. Why can't you ever let me have my fun? All you ever do is judge me and I'm sick of it and you know- ARE YOU KIDDING ME RIGHT NOW?! Why can't I ever talk to you without you being an ass? I just don't get the deal about some stupid article. It's not that stupid article, it's everything! You disregard everything I try to say! And even when I try to have a casual conversation with you, you turn it into a fucking argument! First off, when do we ever have a normal conversation? You're always on your fucking phone, you hardly ever pay attention to me, this is even a functional relationship! Wants to die first. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? What the fuck? How many people know about this thing? What the hell are you talking about? I followed you all night. Well, who the hell are you? And why did you follow me? It doesn't matter who the fuck I am. All that matters is you fucked up, and I'm here to take advantage of the opportunity you give me. Give me Chromus. Look, man, it doesn't have to be like this. Oh, yeah, think it no, it, it, it really doesn't. Trust me. Did you really think what you did is worse than what I did? I watched my wife die in the streets. I couldn't even fucking help her. She died in my arms. I just fucking watched. So if I was you, I would back the fuck down and let me do what I need to do. What was her name? Why do you care? Tell me her name! It was Elizabeth. Elizabeth... Reed? How, how did you know that? She was my sister. I heard what happened, that she was hit by a car and now it's dead on the scene. So, you're her husband, Anthony? I've heard so little about you. Nothing, uh, actually. She was gonna announce it at the family reunion barbecue next week. But that's beside the point. Let me bring her back. No. I don't know if I can do that. Why the hell not? Don't you care about your sister? Of course I do, but... I have to fix my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? And who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> That's my ex-fucking girlfriend you're talking about. Wait, you both killed her? Matt? Yeah. You look so different. That's the first thing you say to me. Well, can we please just talk this out? Shut up! Why have you been following me all night? I've been watching you and Elizabeth for a long time. Just waiting for you to screw up so I can swoop in and take her back. I was an idiot for treating her the way I did. I fucked up, and she left me. I shirked all my responsibilities, and a few weeks later, I got evicted from my place. Wow, that must have been really hard. Shut the fuck up. You have no room to talk. Why don't you tell Anthony what really happened that day? What the hell is he talking about? Nothing. He, he's just crazy. 
He was the one that was driving the car that hit Elizabeth. You piece of shit! Piece of shit! Stay What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing, idiot? I'm gonna bring her back. Well, I have it. And I'm going to use it. Oh, fuck me, right? If it wasn't for me, if I didn't break up with her, you two idiots wouldn't even be here. Well, if you didn't break up with her, I wouldn't have been with her. And you wouldn't have killed her. Well, I'll fucking kill you, and I'll go back and fix it, and I could care less about what happens to you. No! 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 Go! Bring her back! I do love you. I love you more than anything. I just don't understand why you don't want to start a family. Look, listen, I just... You know what, B? You're right. We should have kids. I would love nothing more than that. Who's that? That's my brother Ryan. <laughs>